Hello everyone, welcome to PSP Commerce Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to add a search option for the product in the home page. So for it, let's go back to our code and we will go to our index.php. Here in this page, if we go down uh, a little bit more, here you can see it says products. And over here, we are showing the products. There is the product nightly description price. And we are also showing the product image as well. So after this product, we are going to have a search option. So just below this, we are going to have a search option. So let's go back. And here we are going to mention another D. In this div, we are going to have a form. Let's say here font. We said this, let's say here input type, it will be text. And let's say the name will be my underscore search. And let's also add a placeholder. Let's say search your products. And for this input feed, we're going to have a submit button. Let's say here input type, it will be submit. And we also need to give it a name. Let's the name will be search. So right now, if we save this, and let me just mention one more thing. Here you can see input type search, and we have write some CSS for this submit button. If we just go to our style.css and let me just search for submit, here you can see we write some CSS for the submit button background color dark blue, text color will be white, padding will be 10 ms, and border radius 10%. So, right now, if we just send this, then if we go back to our browser, then refresh here. There you can see we have a search option. So let's just have the search option in the middle. And let's also add some padding as well. So for it, let's go back. And let's just directly write the CSS for the search button over here. So this form is inside this div. So here I'm going to set your style. I'm going to say margin left. It will be 500 PS. Then let's say here padding will be let's say 100 PS. Let's save it, then refresh, and there you can see it will look like this. So right now what we want is that when you write something and click on the search button, it will show us something. So let me just do one thing that is here I'm going to say hello will be search. So here you can see we have a form. In the form we are going to say here action, then we'll say here method. So the method will be get and we'll give the action empty because we're going to write the search code in the same file. So let's go and then go. And here you can see that we already made a connection to the database. Then over here, we are getting all the product data. Then using this dollar result, we are able to see all the product, right? So before this SQL and dollar result, when we will give a if condition, we'll say here if, then we say here is set dollar underscore get variable and here you can see we have to see in condition so inside this we need to mention this name you could fill name you could type something button the name is search here you can see so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it over here so we are checking if someone click on the search button then if someone click on the search button, we are going to declare a variable, let's say dollar search underscore hello equal to we'll say dollar underscore get. Then inside this two single position, we need to get that and would fill name. So here you can see that the input type text, the name is my underscore search. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. After that, we will write a SQL QB. Let's say here dollar SQL equal to, and we are going to declare the same variable since this is inside the if condition. So we send here select star form. We need to measure table name, which is product. Then we need to set here power. And let's say we want to search the product by the title and also by the description as well. So for it, we are going to send here concat, they took first bracket, and let me just go to the product table. Here, if we go to our products table, 
Here you can see we write title like this and description like this. So we are going to say here title, comma, description. Then we are going to say here like. Then we will give two single quotation. Inside it we are going to give two percentage sign. And inside this percentage we are going to keep this dollar search underscore help. So we are trying to find the product depending on the search using the title and description. After that, we are going to declare one more variable and we are going to declare the same variable over here, here against the dollar result. So we are going to set here color result equal to, we are going to say mysql underscore qd and we will set dollar con comma dollar sql. So make sure that you declare the same variable. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to say here else, then to second bracket. And right now I'm just going to cut this and paste it over here. Okay. So right now let me just explain. So whenever someone come to this page, it will show us all the photo data. And when someone search something, write something and click on search, it will only show us the search data. So that's why we give the same variable name over here. Carrying a seed by using the dollar result, we are showing all the products data over here. You can see we are showing all the products data over here, product image. Here against the uh, MySQL page as so dollar result. So that's why we are using the same variable over here so that we don't have to write this code again and again. So just make sure that you give a if condition when someone click on the search button, it will get the specific search and show us the result. And if someone do not click on the search button, then it will show us all the product data. So right now, let's save it. Then let me just refresh here. And let's say we want to see camera. So let me just say here, camera, click on search. And it will show us only the camera. Let's say you want to see the laptop. Then click on search. It will show us the laptop. And if you just keep it empty and click on search, it will show us all the data. Let's say we want to uh, search by the description. So let me just copy the description from here. Then paste it here. Click on search. It will show us the certain product. So yeah, this is how you can make a search for the product in BHP. I hope this was easy for you to understand. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.